Uh, greetings and welcome to Conversations ZA. So, um, this is our first podcast, this is our first episode. Uh, we are going to do introduction, tell you about the podcast, what we are about to do, what we are going to talk about as Daily Conversations SA. So, um, our major topics is going to be politics, sports, entertainment, lifestyle, updates about uh, general life or things that will be happening on daily basis. So uh, we haven't yet figured out how many podcasts we should deliver. It should be weekly, it should be after two weeks, or it should be after three days. I haven't decided on that. Uh, you can leave your view in the comment section to let me know what you think. So uh, today we're going to talk about the um, vaccines and then uh, adjusted level 3. We're also going to touch Gyan Land of Blood. We're also going to talk about uh, Skin Sam Wango. Yeah, so uh, on, the, on that one of vaccines, vaccines arrived here in South Africa on the 1st of February 2021. Uh, where they received it at our tambo, which is a good thing. However, people have been talking before South Africa acquired vaccines. Some they were resilient that they were not going to take the vaccine because there were uh, some sort of conspiracy theory that like Africa has a lot of people, so they should do all it takes to reduce the population. So some were arguing that Corona was introduced to reduce the population, which I find it to be very upset. Um, because we've been using a vaccine since at an early age without knowing anything. So why should they kill us now? So um, the good thing about the vaccines in South Africa is that no one is forced to take the vaccine. If you feel like taking a vaccine for you, it's risky. You don't have to take it. If you think by you taking a vaccine, you will be getting your life at risk. Uh, but however, you're already at risk because Corona is amongst us or is in our midst. So yeah, but anyway, the vaccine is finally here. Those who want to take the vaccine, they are more than free to take it. I think it will be available from uh, two weeks from now. In two weeks' time from now, 14 days, I think, because I think that's to quarantine first. And then, uh, what else can I say about the vaccine? I think there's nothing else I can say about the vaccine. And then we are at uh, adjusted level three, which means some restrictions um, have been lifted. For example, alcohol is bad, people can drink, people can get drunk, uh, which I think uh, it's good to some people, some people is bad, as others tend to be abusive when they're drunk, as others tend to be uh, reckless when they're drunk, careless when they're drunk. So some, they need alcohol just to gain the energy, just to be active. However, uh, while on that one of alcohol, for offside sale, it will be sold on Mondays to, to Thursday, I mean, not Friday. And then for on site consumption, going to restaurants and wherever, which is considered being an on, on site consumption, you can drink there from 10 to 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then while on that one of drinking uh, from 10 to 10 p.m., it is also important to know that the case start at 11 p.m to 4 a.m. in the morning so while you are drinking it is important that you keep time so that you don't get in the wrong side of the law enforcement and then um while talking about alcohol those who love to go to church those who love to worship i have good news for you as the president as the president has announced that uh, faith-based uh, gatherings will be allowed but only only 50 people will be allowed for indoors venues will be allowed for uh, indoors venues which means outdoor venue 
it's only uh, going to be a hundred people and then uh, okay let's change the song yeah so i was talking about what uh, okay faith-based gatherings will be uh, allowed again which is a good thing but 50 people will be allowed inside indoor venues and then outdoor venues is going to be um 100 people and then uh another thing that we should talk about is uh public spaces will be open again with some restrictions public spaces i'm talking about uh beaches and parks so they're going to be open but on that one i still feel like we still need uh some sort of further information on what are going to be the uh, restrictions or conditions. So uh, gatherings in sports ground, it's still not permitted. And then while on that one, it's still important to note that we're still under level three. And then moving forward, the cabinet has approved a proposal to nominate a uh, Cuban medical brigades for peace prize for 2020 and 2021. What do you think about that? Do you think they've done enough? Because the vaccine, I think it's coming from India, but the Cuban doctors were here. Do you think they played their part or do you think they didn't play their part? Tell me what you think in the comment section. Anyway, thinking it's also a task. So, and then wearing of masks it's still compulsory as long as you are within South Africa to all South Africans and those who are in South Africa. Wearing of mask it's compulsory. And then, um, okay, I said we'll, we'll talk about Guyan End of Blood. Let's move to Guyan End of Blood. Guyan End of Blood I started somewhere there. I think it was uh, when? It was 2019, April. And then came to an end, I think somewhere around August, September, somewhere there. The good news is that Gen End of Blood is coming back. We are not sure when is it coming back, but the only thing that we have now is that it's going to play from Thursday to Friday, which means it's going to be two days in a week. Uh, it used to play from Monday to Wednesday, now it's going to play uh, at 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. on Thursday and Friday and then the other thing that we're going to talk about it's a uh, skim sum skim sum will be on a uh, production break from is it first of March or first uh, of April I'm not sure about that you can just confirm but it's going to be on a production break but however SABC I've confirmed that uh, fans of Skim Sam, they have nothing to worry about as shows will be playing, but actors and actresses will be on the production break, which means SABC only paid those who are producing Skim Sam to cover particular episodes. So which means uh, a new season should come back or it will be the end of Skim Sam. What do you think about that? Skim Sam should end... What should happen to Skim Sam then? And then uh, Mubango. Mubango used to play 9 o'clock Monday to Friday, but uh, there is a rumor that it's going to play from Monday to Wednesday, which means I think uh, on Thursday and Friday it will be given space to Giani Land of Blood. What do you think about the changes? Uh, are they necessary? They are not necessary. What do you think about the um, adjustments that were made and level three? One thing that I've forgotten, uh, I've almost forgotten, forgotten to mention, it's um, is that South Africa has managed to secure is it 20 million vaccines, which are going to be delivered in the second quarter of 2021. That's something that I forgot when I was talking about the vaccines, but luckily I've remembered. So, this is our first podcast. Just tell us what you think in the comment section. Our podcasts are going to be the maximum of 15 minutes and the minimum of 10 minutes, which means you're not going to get anything less than 10 minutes 
and you're not going to get anything more than 15 minutes so what you can do now is just subscribe to the channel keep it growing uh just do it for the sake of daily conversation as a to grow to reach new heights new platform and then one thing that i can assure you is that on our upcoming episodes we might have guests or talk about something that's more informed than updates because today it's just updates and introducing the daily conversations sa so you can follow us on facebook at daily conversations sa and you think doing the podcast like this it's a fine method or we should get uh, cameras rolling you want to see the general you want to see mdk but if you feel like this way is fine then it's all good let's keep it moving like that thank you for tuning in kindly subscribe and share with others let's meet on our next podcast so remember i asked a question whether we should do this podcast after two weeks or on a weekly basis so that if we're going to do a podcast each week it means it's going to be for a month and if we're doing we're going to do after two weeks it's going to be two a month and then if we're going to do it after um yeah let's stick to let's vote between one week and two weeks so that we can have something tangible to talk about thank you so much for tuning in signing out